I'm going to model another one of these magic potion flasks. And this time I'm going to do this one. And then I'll put it in the scene with the one that I did previously. All right, so uh, here we go. Let's do this. Um, yeah, let's just start with the cylinder. Let's go for like, you know, 24 vertices. Make it nice and smooth with a subdivision surface. Let's pull that up there. And let's grab this edge and pull it down. Something like that. And pull this down here. Control R and S to scale. Let's do another one there. S to scale. We'll come back to the bottom in a bit. Let's do that. Let's pull it up a little bit. Scale it out. And just keep building it up like this. I'm not particularly going for any you know, even distance. I'm just doing something like this. I want to get this basic shape. So I'm just extruding and pressing S to scale. And trying to match the curvature as much as I can. Come in. I'm going to go up to the top very soon here. down to the bottom here, select this, and control B, pull it out, give it some segments, and let's have a look at this with control 2, okay, that looks good, and I'm going to come up here, and I'll pull it up a little bit more, and I'm going to delete that face, I think I'll grab this edge, and I'll push it down a little ways, Actually, I think what I'll do is I'll turn off my subdivision. I don't want this one and this one. Let's try pulling that down like that. And, uh, we'll see. A little indentation like that. All right, yeah, that's the general shape of this thing. Mm, I think I'll press GG for edge slide. Let's see. Maybe I'll do this. I'm gonna hold down shift. That's fine. All right. Uh, let's bring back that reference image. I'm gonna come up here. I'll go back in the wireframe. I'm gonna select that edge and pull down a little bit. Shift D, scale. Press one for vertex select. I can just see better. P, I'm going to break this out. Shake that. I'm going to pull it down a little ways. So it sort of fits over, I think. Alright, let's extrude up. Let's scale in a bit. I'm going to take the whole thing and scale it. Take that. Take this piece there. And uh, E and S will come in. E, I'll adjust this in a bit. Let's scale in a bit more. E and S. E. All right. We'll come out now like that. S. Extrude out like this. Let's just have a look at that piece. And I 
think I'll take this piece and E and S come in and F to make a face. Let's shade that smooth. That's basically what I'm going to be going for. E and S will come in. I better go in a wireframe. And although I'm going to be adding some thickness to the glass, I'm going to estimate how far I want to come in. And I want to put like a little plug that comes down like that. E and S and F to make a face. I can just focus on that itself. And uh, let's just put maybe one edge loop there to tighten that up. I want it kind of, I, I do want it smooth. I, I don't want it too sharp, maybe a little bit. Okay, this piece is going to have a um, solidify on it. So I'm going to, here, we'll hide this, H to hide. We'll put solidify on that, just like we did before. I'll bring it up to the top. And uh, I can't remember if I went in or if I went out on these things. I think I said I was going to go in. Go ahead and apply that. And let's put one edge loop that'll just tighten that up. Actually, I'm gonna put two. I'm gonna do that. Then I get a definite a definite edge on that. And we'll make some liquid. Uh, this is gonna be um, glass for that one. Actually, let's tell you what we'll do. We'll bring that stuff back. We'll hide the empty. I'm going to take this and I'm going to move that to a new collection and I'll call that Flask 2. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to make the interior. Let's just get rid of that for the moment. And so I'm going to select in face selection a bunch of this stuff. I don't need to go right to the bottom. Uh, shifting, shift and alt and click, and I'm going to come up to, I don't know how high. Maybe there for liquid. Shift D and P to break it out. And select that, I'm going to scale that in. Just see how that goes. Okay, that's a, I'll call that liquid two. I'm gonna slash to focus on that. Have to make a face. Let's look here. Control B. Just a thin region there to show the top. And uh, close this bottom off. That's okay like that. Okay, we'll turn that back on. That should be fine for for the liquid. Okay, turn that back on. And so now what we're going to do, I'll just hide that. Is I'm going to work on some of these legs here. So let's come in and see. Maybe what I'll do is I'll grab this Shifty 
That's to scale. I'll pull down a little ways. P will break that out. And uh, did I get it? There we go. I'm going to scale it in. I'm going to extrude it up like that. I think I'll scale it out. So there it is. Okay, I'll we'll press E and Alt S and pull. Like that. We'll put edge loops on here. And we'll go top and bottom as well. And shade smooth. We'll assume that kind of connects. Mm. I might scale it as add a bit bigger. Okay, so we got that. And to make the legs, what I thought I would do is we'll look from the side. Let's focus uh, just on this flask. Let's see if it close that. Yeah, I'm going to bring in a curve path, scale it down. Rotate Y90. Oh, I'm going to hide the empty for now. Don't bring that up. And I'm just going to make something. So I'm going to pull that forward a little bit. Then I'm going to press E. And just start, just start curling around. And not worry too much about the shape. I'll work, I'll work on that in a bit. Yeah, maybe something like that. Yeah, I can do a little bit of adjusting. And I'm going to get rid of that vertex. Possibly the top one as well. Actually, I think I will right now. And let's come over to the curves. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to choose profile. I'm going to give this some, some thickness. And I think for the profile, I'm going to push out. in and let's see uh, but what we, what we want to do is we want to increase the resolution like that so let's see I just want something simple that gives it a little bit of nice let's see let's see we pull it in I would stick out like that so let's go like this Give it something nice like that. Okay, and then we'll work on this a little bit. All right, let's grab that point. Uh, I think I'm going to extrude it again, and I'm going to press uh, Alt S, scale it down. I will fill caps as well, and then just start Alt S. You know, just gradually make it get bigger, and while in doing that just position it a little bit better. I think I'm going to need it uh, tighter and so I'm just going to start pulling these points in uh, to sort of make a circle and I'll just go around and alt S here and there uh, as I uh, start to grow a little bit bigger and then I think I'm pretty much going to leave it. Okay. Well, and then the idea would be that I would come up here, bring that 3D cursor to there, and I think what I'm going to do is convert this. I'm just going to convert it to a mesh, just like that. It'll be pretty dense. Uh, and then I'm going to come up here I'm going to delete those faces and then I'm going to mirror this
and do that and then apply the mirror and I'm going to bridge those edge loops it's a little bit ugly here and then we'll just we'll just adjust this here um, let's see can I just dissolve those edges I'll take that You know, that's what I end up with. And let's look at this. Let's rotate this and figure out a position for it. Um, I'm just going to scale it a little bit. Let's see what that would look like. It looks a little wimpy to me, so I'm going to scale it in the X a bit thicker that yeah, okay all right let's take that piece and just bring the 3d cursor there and see what this would look like from above let's set the origin to the 3d cursor shift D rotate Z 180 we'll start with that grab them both shift D rotate Z uh, 90 50 rotate Z45. Let's see if we like it like that. Is that too busy? That's, that looks too busy to me. I think we're better off with four. Okay. And that's basically the model right there. Now, the materials uh, were already done for flask one which is over there so let's actually move this guy uh, over so I got my camera and my lights all set up let's slide you over to here focus on you um, I think I might make it a little bit bigger and for the materials I'm just going to use the same materials as uh, on here so I have some gold on there here let's go we'll do it like this okay so select that i'm going to select all of these pieces including the top and select that last control l materials to put that gold on there this is going to be glass so select that and that and control l materials and i'll start by selecting well, let's see i mean i'll be able to do that so let's hide the glass let's the glass so select this one and then this one control L materials for liquids uh, but I'll modify this liquid All right, I'm going to go into the shading tab and if you saw me do this in my last video I had put a layer weight on this spot and I decided to just take it off uh, for the liquid um, so I've done that and I'm going to do something like this I forgot to make that a new instance of the liquid. So here, liquid two, and this one is going to be the sort of cyan color. Try that, and uh, okay. One thing I will have to maybe do. No, that's okay. Okay. So here's my render, and I brought it into PowerPoint with a background. 
I've got my first flask and I've got my second flask here. All right. I really like doing these and I may do another flask and put it over here or something. I've also been asked if I would work on some uh, Minecraft uh, magic potion icons. So I may do that sometime in the future. But anyways, there we go. Thank you very much for watching and hope to see you next time.